Hello, geometry students. Here's your lesson for Section 1-7, Transformations in the Coordinate Plane, with Missy McCarthy, Math Instructor at Oak Miss High School. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to say, I can write mapping statements from images to pre-images to images um, for a transformation using arrow notation, identify reflections, rotations, and translations, and find the image points for a translation given the rule in the coordinate plane. So your first three vocabulary words show up right here in this slide. The very first vocabulary word is a transformation. So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about something called transformations. And a transformation is simply to change in position, size, or shape of a figure. So if you have a figure and you change its position, you change its size, or you change its shape, you have performed a transformation. You have changed it. We call the first image that we start with, um, the first picture of the shape, we call that the pre-image before anything happens. And then after you change the position, the size, or the shape, you have then created an image. So pre-image is where you start and an image is where you finish. Okay, when we perform transfer transformations, sometimes we call them a mapping. You're mapping one, the pre-image, to two, the image, and we use arrow notation to show where we went from and where we went to. Okay, so the pre-image here, we would put triangle A, B, C is where we start. That's our pre-image, and it maps to triangle. We usually use these little accents, which mean prime, A prime, B prime, and C prime, which means that is the image. So A goes to A prime, B goes to B prime, and C goes to C prime. And that's what we call uh, arrow notation, arrow notation for a transformation. Okay, so the three transformations that we're going to focus on this particular lesson are a reflection, also known as a flip, where you have your line of reflection here. Reflections are the same distance away from the line on either side, and if you connect any of the two points, the pre-image point to the image point of a reflection, that line where you connect them should be perpendicular to your line of reflection, just like I just drew there for B and B prime. Next, we have a rotation or a turn about a point. So if you start with point P and you imagine uh, essentially that you are tethering one corner of your image from uh, P, in this case, we're gonna go from P to G. So imagine that's somewhat of a, like a rope and you're starting at point P and then you rotate that rope around and then you get your rotation image at G prime. So this one is rotating or turning up around point P, kind of like point P is like the center of a clock and the hand rotates around, okay? Then the last one we're gonna talk about is a translation or a slide. So the image simply just moves all of the points in the same direction and the same distance um, so that you, it you can imagine that you're taking the object, uh, your pre-image J, K, L, M, and you're sliding everything in the same direction, uh, the same distance, and then you create your image. So can you identify what these transformations are? Again, your choices are reflection, also known as a flip, a rotation, also known as a turn, and a uh, translation, also known as a slide. So for this first one, it looks like we have A, B, C here, and then A uh, prime, B prime, C prime here. And this looks like it has been rotated. So I will say this first one is a rotation. And if we were to draw, uh, write it using arrow notation, I would say triangle ABC goes to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. It looks like it's been turned a bit. If we look here, we can say either a slide or a reflection. How do we know which is which? Well, I look where G goes from. G goes from G to G prime, there. 
and then F goes from F to F prime there. But E goes from E to E prime. Those weren't moved in the same distance. They were moved the same direction, but not the same distance. So I would say this then has to be a reflection. And then my arrow notation, I would say uh, D, E, F, G goes to D prime, E prime, F prime, G prime. And that's your arrow notation. So for this one, we're going to plot the two figures and then determine, it looks like after we plotted them, uh, determine whether what the transformation is. So my first figure I'm going to do in black. A is 1, negative 1. That's A. B is 2, 3. Here's B. And C is 4, negative 2. There's C. So we have a triangle. I'm going to do my second figure in a different color. So it looks like we've got negative 1, negative 1, A prime. We've got negative 2 up 3, B prime, and negative 4, negative 2, C prime. And there is the image, pre-image and image. And I am going to say that that appears to be a reflection or a flip. All right, the last thing we're going to do is translations in the coordinate plane. And we're going to use what we call a rule to do that. So this says to find coordinates uh, of an image in, um, of a figure in a translation, add A to the X coordinates of the image and add B to the Y coordinates of the image. And this will move all of the points in the same direction, the same distance. So a translation can be described as a rule like this. You take all of your points X, Y that create your pre-image. And all of those move to taking the x coordinates and adding a, and taking the y coordinates and adding b, where a and b just represent numbers. So let's see how this would work. If we have our rule here for this translation, the rule is that x, y goes to x plus 2 and y minus 1. So I'm going to take all of my x coordinates, and I'm going to add 2. And I'm going to take all my y coordinates and I'm going to subtract 1. So my original point was A was at negative 4, 2. And it's going to be mapped to A prime. And I'm going to add 2. So that's going to be negative 2. And then I'm going to subtract 1. And that is going to be 1. My original coordinates for B uh, are negative 3, 4. Negative 3, 4. So for B prime, I need to take this and add 2, I get negative 1. And I need to take this and subtract 1, and I get 3. And lastly, C is at negative 1, 1. So to get to C prime, I need to take negative 1 and add 2. That puts me at 1. And then I need to take 1 and subtract 1, and that puts me at 0. Now I'm going to plot the new points, A prime, B prime, and C prime negative 2, 1, A prime, negative 1, 3, B prime, and then neg um, 1, 0, C prime. And there is our translation. Every point was moved in the same direction, the same distance. Again, make sure that you can write mapping statements from the pre-image to the image for the transformation using arrow notation. Identify what a reflection is, what a rotation is, and what a translation is. And then find the image points for a translation given the rule in the coordinate plane. Thanks for watching.